I'm Rory Greer from XR Today, bringing you the latest in news and conversation from the extended reality space. Today we'll be discussing the emerging opportunities of blockchain-based art with Andy Alakin, the co-founder and CEO of Snark. Thanks for joining me today, mate. Uh, well, yeah, thanks for inviting me. Really glad being here. Fantastic. I appreciate you joining me. So let's start off. Can you introduce the Snark story? Um, I'm interested to learn a little more about your brand of sophisticated and poetic experiences that leverage Web3 tech like blockchains. Sure, sure. Yeah, happy to tell you our story. Right, we started, like, we were, like, in short, we are NFT studio. So we're working with artists, usually, like, big name artists and help them through to uh, like produce and launch and have cheap collections. Uh, but we, and we started really, really early. So like back in 2018, we made the first project when at that time there was not even like this like word NFT, people called it blockchain art. And uh, so they were like, like I, I joined this industry by accident. Like once I, uh, I was like investing in uh, Ethereum and was like in this Ethereum community and once this uh, I saw a weird ad, ad in the internet that there would be like a blockchain and art conference in New York, and I thought like what an interesting intersection, so I need to go there. And I came there, and I thought it would be like a big conference, but it was just like a bunch of people. I don't know, like fifty people uh, came together for the first time, and they were discussing together the ideas of digital ownership and that you can actually some own something in the internet and how that can influence the art world. And it actually blew my mind, and I thought, yeah, I need to be there. And immediately, I think maybe like one month later, uh, I started Snarkart with the idea to help artists to create this kind of project. And we launched our first project by, uh, back in 2018. It was a collaboration with Yves Sussman, which is a famous digital artist in New York. And uh, we sold this project, and... It was like very successful, and again, it was like very experimental, and uh, we got some attention from the art press and art media, and some recognition in the NFT community. And so we decided, yeah, this and like it was like a really cool experience for me personally because on the one hand, you're talking to artists and uh, like trying to like develop some unusual ideas uh and on the other hand it's like you're dealing with the community and uh, trying to explain them uh and to educate them about this type of art so this is like like very interesting thing to do and so that's how snark art started and since 2018 we launched more than 10 collections uh some of them like were financially successful some of them not, but from the artistic standpoint, from the experimental standpoint, I'm really proud uh, uh, with all of them. Uh, and uh, last year, I think every, everything changed for us. Uh, we launched this uh, collection, OG Crystals. Uh, it's a collection that experiments with dynamic NFTs. The idea of the collection was like very, very simple, that if you're buying a crystal, you're actually buying a seed but if you, Rory, owns a crystal and you're selling this crystal to me, then at the moment of sale, we were, we analyzed the uh, buyer's wallet data. And based on this data information, like how old is the wallet, how much money is in the wallet, what other collections are in the wallet. We, using this data, we updated, uh, we were updating the crystal and the crystal actually like, like, like and, and the crystal was growing and uh, changed its shape. So and we thought it would be like a nice small experiment for like a bunch of collectors, but we like in a week we had like five thousand people joined our Discord, then another ten thousand people, then in three weeks we had like sixty thousand people there, and people were so excited. So we sold these crystals on several million dollars, and then this growth period uh, started. So people were actively growing their own crystals, and it was such an interesting experience for all of us, including myself. You know. I was sitting on the weekends, I was sitting with my son and we were like growing crystals. Uh, it was like a nice, nice experience. And uh, we, since then we decided that this like that dynamic aspect of NFTs is like something really interesting and engaging. Something like that are not like just static pictures, but actually they can change after the sale and they can like 
uh, collectors can a actually influence their, their growth. And so that's, that's our main focus right now. And we build this platform just for dynamic NFTs and we're launching next project right now in collaboration with Face Gallery. That's fantastic. Yeah. A lot to uh, take away from there. Brilliant, brilliant. Cheers, mate. Um, especially the dynamic NFTs. And I also think it's quite interesting to learn more about, or quite interesting to learn about the community aspect of the NFTs and how that can actually alter the product that um, are in, is in people's digital uh, hands. Um, you touched on some of these um, already, but can you go over some more of your recent partnerships? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So there's a uh, the uh, we did like something similar in OG crystals, but like with the, our like latest collection, Leom, uh, we brought it to the next level. The idea is that if you have uh, a specific NFT in your wallet, for example, if you're like if you're a collector of Moonbirds, uh, and if you have a Moonbird NFT in your wallet, then this uh, this NFT will influence the growth of your Leom. Uh, NFT. So it means that like your NFT will grow in a very special way just because you have a uh, moonbird in, in your wallet. And so this kind of partnership is like very interesting. And so like we are officially partnered with Moonbirds and Proof Collective. We're officially partnered uh, with Flamingo DAO. We're officially partnered with Pleasure DAO. We're officially partnered with Tom Sachs Collection and with like several other like, like MeBeats DAO with like really big name collections. So, like, and we're allowing, uh, it means that their NFTs actually uh, influence uh, the growth of Leon. So if you're like, for example, if you're a Mibit uh, collector, then you have a chance to actually grow very special Leon, just like, that will have like, like unique traits uh, of Mibit. And uh, like, uh, mem members of those communities are really excited and about the partnership and uh, they will be participating in the sale and they will be growing like their own uh, Leoms. Yeah, so like, yeah, this is kind of a partnership that we're developing. And uh, so it's not just a marketing partnership, it's more like a partnership on a, on a, on a product or on an art level, which I think is really exciting. And this is what is like Web3 is all about. That's fantastic. That leads perfectly into what I want to ask more. So I want to learn maybe more about the art and commercial and then also product opportunities that exist with your platform and perhaps with digital um, Web3 infrastructures generally. Sure, sure. Like, yeah, what we're doing like, is, a, is, a, is a completely art project. So they are not uh, focused on uh, like any commercial thing, but uh, like as a, as a part of the process, we built uh, this dynamic engine that actually allows to create and to support dynamic NFTs. And uh, we launched uh, like a separate line of business, which we call OG Protocol, which is actually just a set of tools that allows to everyone, every brand, or like every play to earn game or even metaverse to create their own dynamic NFTs. So I don't know if you're a brand, if you want to create a, a loyalty program, using NFTs and you want your NFTs to actually change in with the time or with any other parameters. I don't know, like you want your NFTs to change based on the face of the moon or based on the weather on Mars. Like now it's possible with this technology that we developed and uh, with the uh, OG protocol that we built. Brilliant, that's some great inventive stuff there. Um, I also want to learn more about how small to medium sized businesses can leverage the Snark infrastructure and then also the engine and the toolkits um, that you make available as a business to business solution or perhaps also a B2C solution too. Yeah, this is a B2B solution tech, yes. And this is like for, so like we believe that like for small and medium sized business, uh, businesses, like NFTs might be an interesting marketing tool, like starting from the like building community uh, around brands uh, to actually fundraising and uh, make like uh, the idea to make those NFTs dynamic and to somehow like react to any events or like uh, evaluate the progress of the community members is like, a, like we see it as a really, really interesting tool. So we encourage uh, like these businesses to try OG protocol. Right now, like it works in a uh, like not completely do-it-yourself mode. So like you would need help of our developers, you know, to fine-tune it. 
uh, but we have a capacity to do many projects at the same time. But we are like building right now the like the version of the protocol uh, that would be able to work in a completely do-it-yourself mode. So just a, like a set of APIs that every developer can use. That's great. It sounds like it's a very accessible, a very accessible, excuse me, a low barrier to entry solution that you've got here. Definitely, definitely. This is our idea. Yeah, to kind of to lower the barriers, right, and to make those uh, <clears throat> like NFTs dynamic. Like we all, like you know, like the with all this idea, NFT, and it just came quite recently to the market. And uh, initially, all NFTs were static, but we think that this is came um, as a kind of like something that, that came from the like traditional world, you know, like when, when you, you bring something from the old world to the new one, you initially like start, it, it's like, like it was with television, you know, like when the television was invented, like people usually like initially thought that it would be just like theatrical play, uh, that it's not its own medium. And I think what has happened, this is the same thing that happened with, with NFTs right now. They started as a static one, but I believe that the future NFT of, of NFTs like is, is, is dynamic. They should be changing. They should be alive. They should keep changing in the, in, in, in the wallets of their users. That's what all NFTs are about. That's really interesting. That's some great insight and um, some great food for thought. Um, but I want to wrap this up now, and I want to wrap it up by learning more about the Life in Our Minds collection. Um, an overview of that collection it would be great. And I also want to know how collections like that increase awareness for Web3 technologies that are using, as well as your own brand of Dynamic. Um, and changing community-based NFT and blockchain goods. Yeah, yeah. So like Leom, like, like uh, in our mind, it's a, collabor it's a collaboration of uh, two group of artists, Random International, which are like very famous traditional artists. Uh, they're represented by Pace Gallery, which is one of the biggest galleries and well-known galleries in the world. And the artworks of Pace is in major collections all over the world. So they have a huge following from like traditional uh, uh, collectors. And the uh, second artist is Daniel Krivaruchka. It's a Ukraine, Ukrainian based artist, a Ukrainian born artist. He is based in New York and uh, he is a um, digitally native artist. So like he came from the digital space. And so he has a lot of followers and uh, a lot of collectors also digitally native. So, and this project is actually a collaboration of those two that we like believe and what we see right now is like bringing both communities together. People like traditional collectors, they are like, educating about Web3 and uh, uh, like crypto native collectors, they are like being educated about the art scene and the traditional art market. So the idea is like, is a, uh, uh, every NFT uh, is a, like a separate artwork and you would need to actually to grow it after the purchase. And to grow it, you actually need to do nothing. The idea is that you just need not to sell it. And this is the only thing you need, that you need to do. And uh, the, the quality of your uh, NFT will depend on, the, uh, on what other collections do you have in your wallet. But then there would be also a collective artwork. It's a digital uh, piece, what we, uh, and we call it mother flock. The mother flock will actually consist of all NFTs uh, together. And so this, co this collective uh, artwork will be presented later this year on the uh, Art Basel Miami uh, as, a, as a result of the collective artwork, of the, of, as, a collective, as a collaboration of artists and thousands of collectors. So like, actually this mother flock will have like thousands of collectors as their co-creators. Brilliant, that sounds very exciting. I have to keep us up to date with that. I'd love to learn more. So for, to wrap it up once more, and for those watching, what's the best way to keep in touch and keep up to date with Snark? Oh, definitely, yeah. First of all, you, you, you can, you can uh, visit snark.art website, but you can also go to the, our platform for dynamic NFTs, which is og.art, yeah. Please come there to see our latest collection. It's amazing. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you, Rory. That's wonderful. That's it from myself. Get more XR news by subscribing to the XR Today news channel and by following our social pages. I'm Rory Greener from XR Today. Thank you very much for watching.